Rocker is the only person to have been nominated for an Oscar, Grammy, Golden Globe and the Nobel Prize. His two passions of music and philanthropy have gone hand in hand for Bono, ever since 1979 when he tuned into the Secret Policeman's Ball, a charity event to raise money for Amnesty International. Using U2's headlining popularity throughout the 1980s to bring star power to cash and awareness raising events like Live Aid and Amnesty's Conspiracy of Hope, he found his own humanitarian niche in 1999 when he began campaigning aggressively for third world debt relief and raising awareness of the AIDS pandemic in Africa. In 2002, he founded the multinational organization DATA, which stands for Debt, AIDS, Trade in Africa. And when it comes to making speeches, the first man to use the F word on a Grammy Award telecast never pulls his punches. I feel a bit of a fraud. Um, I feel like a bit of a loser uh, here with the winners in the snow because we're not winning in the war against AIDS, which is what we're here to talk about. We're losing it. Speaking at the World Economic Forum in the Swiss town of Davos, Bono poked fun at the gathered company of the world's political and business elite. So here we are, fat cats in the snow. And uh, I say that as one. Um, it's a, it is a great place to do business and um, we have some business we want to talk to you about. He was there to launch the concept of Red in collaboration with American Express where venture partners donate a portion of their revenue to fight AIDS in Africa. But perhaps the achievement that best demonstrated Bono's muscle as a political and social force was his collaboration with Bob Geldof to create Live 8 in 2005. In a demonstration of might and determination, they pulled off their plan to proceed the G8 summit with 10 simultaneous concerts featuring more than 1,000 musicians and broadcast across 182 television networks. Five days later, the G8 leaders pledged to double the 2004 levels of aid to third world nations to $50 billion. 